Do you feel like you're in control of technology or is technology in control of you? Oof. Oh, it's definitely more control of me. Hey guys, this is Ishmolamte. Google is trying to advocate for digital well-being in a very unique way. You know, technology has grown rapidly over the years and sometimes it's a bit difficult to find balance with whatever technology we may be using. And this actually makes it a bit difficult being able to track some of the things we do and you know, sometimes even being able to spend quality time with the people who matter a lot in our lives. So Google has actually developed a couple of apps which makes it a bit easier to go about finding a balance with technology. Now most of these apps are still in um, experimental mode so it's actually not really um, perfect yet but it's still being you know understood to see what is going to come out of them. Now I want you to know about these apps in case you don't know so I'm going to go ahead to take you through a couple of these apps which um, basically is going to help you with um, being able to find a balance in case it's a bit difficult to find a balance with whatever you do especially when you are using technology so I'm going to go to this site which is uh, 9925google.com and going through the apps so there are a couple of apps let me just start reading from the top it says Google has a powerful suite of tools for digital well-being built into the past couple of versions of Android but now the company is experimenting with other ideas. Today, the company has launched five new digital well-being experiments on Android. They are all available as apps for you to try out. So let's take a look at the apps. So first on the list is Unlock Clock. Now Unlock Clock is basically an app which shows you the numbers of times you've actually unlocked your phone. So you get to see that. Now if that is very alarming, then you do something about it. So as you can read, it says, um, the first of these uh, apps is Unlock Lock. The app is used as a live wallpaper that displays the number of times you've unlocked your smartphone through the day. So it's very cool to know the numbers of times you um, unlock your phone. And then you have Postbox. Now Postbox um, allows you to, you know, um, should I say, um, control the kind of notifications which are sent to you every now and then. So that's why you basically be using Postbox. Um, so it says what? Um, the idea behind the app is to limit how often notifications are thrown at you. Instead of delivering them at all at once, Postbox scatters uh, your notifications um, through the day and delivers them in an organized way. So yeah, you get to control the way notifications are sent to you during the day. And then the next one is um, Reflip. So Reflip is this, um, designed to cut down on smartphone usage when you are around a group of other people. This is very cool because there's been a situation whereby you actually go out on dates with people and they are all on their phone they actually don't pay attention to whatever is happening within their environment so this is actually going to help tackle that it says the app takes every phone in the group and pairs them together everyone flips the switch to start a new session the app then tracks who takes a peek at their phone and then someone logs the session ends and provides some stats so that's actually a cool way to track whoever likes to spend a lot of time on their phone, whatever they are out with their friends. And then the next one is Desert Island. So much like the classic game, Google's Desert Island, the guitar well-being app for Android is designed to find out what's the most important to you. So out of whatever apps you have on your phone, which out of them is very important to you. So the app takes over your smartphone and only includes shortcuts to the apps you need most. So that's what basically the Desert Island is allowing you to do. And then there's Morph. Google's um, latest new digital will be an app for Android is called Morph. The app is designed to adapt to whatever it is you are doing at the time. It tries to deliver the right apps at the right time to use. There's Activity Bubble. So I actually have a couple of them installed. So the Activity Bubble allows you to know the numbers of like how long you are using your phone. This is done by purpose. I'll actually show you that in a short while. So it says, there are, uh, perhaps my favorite of this entire uh, set is Activity Bubbles. This app tracks how often you unlock your phone and how long you keep it unlocked and applies that to your wallpaper. So you actually see the bubbles dropping down and this just should just help you out with how long you are using your phone. And then there's Screen Stop Watch that says, uh, like unlock clock listed above. This one tracks how long 
you actively use your device on a daily basis so it's very important to know this in case you have no idea on how long you stay on your phone and then we also have i think that's just basically about it now you may be wondering how do you get to download this app so let's just head to um google site the um, actual site for the experimental app so that is experiment i'll actually link put a link in the description of this video so you get to um, visit the site and read more about these apps so experiment with um, dot with google.com is the site and then you get to read more about these apps here so in case you want to try out these apps you can just um once you are on the site you just go ahead to tap on the app it gives you more details about it and then you can launch experiments this is going to take you to play store and then you get to install it or you can basically also just come to play store search for the app you get to download it and then take a look at it so let me just go ahead and then open the bubble so it's already set as wallpaper so as you can see now let me just come here realize that i have a couple of bubbles in there this means i've been using my phone for some time the interesting part is so if it's you've had your phone for a very long time you have a very big bubble coming in and if maybe you've turned unlocked it starts inter intermittently you have small bubbles coming in there and once you leave your phone idle for some time these bubbles go away so this is just basically reminding you of how long you are spending time on your phone and if there's a need for you to do something about it you actually do that so let me just see i think i have a couple of them here aside the bubble let me see if i can find so i have the the screen stop watch which also shows you the numbers of times you've actually unlocked your phone uh, let me apply this so you get to see that at the background and yeah it just serves as a reminder for you to be able to you know spend some time off your phone if there's a need to do so and then there's a paper phone so you also um, get to go about the i haven't actually tried this so i haven't really found my way out it yet but it has a couple of ways you can go about it so yeah okay i think yeah this basically shows you what is important the important apps and then your contacts aside that you don't really have access to any of the other apps so that's with that and then there's the post box which uh, customizes your notifications so it says your next delivery is at 9 o'clock p.m that is basically about that as well so it is very good for me to see google do some of these things to help us out in terms of those who find it a bit difficult to stay away from their mobile devices or maybe um, even their technology devices so that at the end of the day once you're able to find a balance you don't really feel you are sort of addicted and you can't live without these technologies you should be able to live with this uh, without these technologies when there's um when there's a need to do so so that is basically just about it for this video it is important to have a balance with whatever you do in this life so finding a balance with your technology is important also so try as much as possible to check these apps out and let me know what you think about them that's that's the end for this video thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next one.